You asked, I listened, and in today's video, I now have a H&M haul for you. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Marlene, and as I say, in today's video, I have a H&M haul for you. I have tried H&M many, many, many years ago when I lived home in Denmark. Um, over here in Ireland, they didn't really do plus size in our brick and mortar shop, and they don't do it anymore at all. Sizes on H&M was a little bit confusing, which is why I kind of stayed away from them, but it's finally time to give them a try. If plus size fashion style and beauty is for you, smash the subscribe button down the corner and the notification bell so you know when I upload it next time. Most importantly, check the description box down below. Down there, I'll leave links to everything that I'm wearing as well as sharing, um, links to the stores and discount codes and everything else. Good stuff, we have all the prizes here. I don't even remember what I ordered because this parcel landed a few days ago and I do not remember what I got. But I can see that I got six items. So let's just get stuck in. The first item I have for you is a pair of trousers. Now these are ordinary dress dress trousers as I call them. Um, I wear these pretty much every day when I go to work. Um, I got, this is a plain black pair of dress trousers. We have a few pleats up here in the front which is normally always nice for the belly. We have a bit of elastics on the back, full pockets on the back, but functioning pockets on the front. There isn't much to tell you about these dress trousers. They are straight up, straight down. I got these in an extra, extra large and they are $22.99. Okay, um, I'm not mad at these. There are plenty of space for my pouch. They're kind of loose around my backside as well but the waistband is just fitting. Again, I think these are just cut for a pear shape, but I kind of think it's just the aesthetic of it that they're supposed to be a little bit slouchy. I do think they have a good fit. I, mean, I, I don't feel like they're being so baggy that they're hanging off of me, but I definitely have enough space in this area here. Um, I really do like them actually. Yeah, there isn't much to say about them. They are a plain pair of black dress trousers, but you know what? They would go really, really well with a lot of the tops and blouses that I have in my wardrobe. And you know what? And this length means that they would be perfect with both a pair of flats as well as a wee heel. I totally forgot that I picked up a pair of earrings as well, but look at these little gorgeous gem rainbow earrings. Now it is a little hoop earring and then you have this little rainbow sitting on attached as a little charm. It does have one of these little kind of locks here, so plain earrings. Should I just pop one in and we can see it? Let me take my hoop out. If you didn't know, I absolutely love hoop earrings. Anything with small hoops, that's what I wear all the time. Oh, look at this. Isn't that adorable? These earrings, like they're, because they, they're, they're like little rhinestones down here on the rainbow. They were only $6.99, which I think is so cheap. I just love the colors of them. I think they're beautiful. And hey, listen, who don't support the rainbow cause, eh? A t-shirt, size 3XL. And this has Mickey and Minnie Mouse on it. I am a huge fan of both Minnie and Mickey. I absolutely adore both of them. It is a plain t-shirt. There isn't much to say. Straight up, straight down, just with Mickey and Minnie on it. On It It says Walt Disney presents Mickey and Minnie. And then they're holding hands. Oh, so adorable. Plain t-shirt. Um, it does seem to be a little bit thin. I don't think um, black underwear would be possible, that's for sure. 3XL and $9.99. Okay, I, I know it's just a plain t-shirt, but by God, this is cute. And you know what? It's not half a see-through as I thought it would be. Yes, you can tell I have black underwear underneath, but I don't think it's as bad. Not as bad as I expected at all. Oh, listen, this is adorable. As I say, plain t-shirt, but it fits perfect to size and it's adorable. What did I get in animal print? What did I get in animal print? I genuinely do not remember what I have ordered from them at all. Now, I do remember, however, that there wasn't a lot of color on their website. It was kind of like a lot of plain, bland, kind of, you know, dark um, blacks, blues. Do you know that kind of way? A lot of white tops and stuff. There wasn't a lot of color on their website, which I was really, really missing. But I picked up a top. 
this is lovely. This is actually a shirt. Here, let me put it on a hanger, then it'll be easier to show you. There we go, that's better. Now it is a shirt, it is an all button down shirt, but it has a granddad collar on it. So there is no collar as such, it's just this kind of little rounded edge up here. It does close all the way up. We have a slight ruching here on the shoulder and then into a plain shirt. I absolutely love this. And you know what? I'm really glad I picked this up. I really hope that it'll look nice on me. It looks really long. Oh, maybe with a pair of leggings. Faux leather leggings. Oh, how much did I pay for this? Crinkled blouse in beige. I got it in 3XL and it's $19.99. Okay, we have our first... I was going to say fail, but I won't say it's a fail. It's just not me. Um, the arms, for starters, can you tell when I lift my arm, I'm pulling the shirt out with me. The armholes are sewn too far out. They need to be kind of up here. So when I lift my arm, I don't pull the whole shirt with me. Now, to be fair, that's probably just the aesthetic of the shirt. It's just not me. It's also too big and too baggy on me. Um, even if I do a French tuck it's simply just it's too long to wear just as a shirt you can tell it just hangs down now if you are the kind of person who like these long flowy tops this is definitely a good option um it does fall very nice on the body yeah it, it's just not me that's all but other than that I can't really fault it at all I do like the length of it though and I think it would look absolutely fantastic with a pair of faux leather leggings yeah, this, this one is just not for me. Maybe with a belt. Still not for me, but a belt might help it a little bit. Curvy jackings, ultra high waist ankle length. I got a pair of jackings. How can these be jackings when there is, these are jeans, they're stretchy jeans. We have a functioning button and zip that makes them jeans. Jackings have no buttons and no zip. They're like leggings only out of jeans material these in a size UK size 22 and I'll be honest with you these looks extremely small I do remember once upon a time when our local uh, H&M had plus size clothes I do remember being up with Emma one day and I tried on some jeans and they were just way too small the sizes were all over the place it looks to be the case here I, I'm, I'm trying not to judge a book by its cover but I think these jeans look very small I do love the look of them. I think their looks really, really nice. Nice and stretchy, not too thick, not too thin. Um, nice jeans quality, which I really appreciate. How much were they? $19.99. Okay, I'm not mad at these. I'm quite surprised that I could fit them on. They are full pockets in the front, um, which definitely makes them more towards the jeggings versus the jeans. But do you know what? I'm not mad at these at all. They are tight on my body, but jeggings are supposed to be because they're like leggings and they do sit tight to my pouch. I'm not sure that I would feel confident showing off the pouch in these jeans. Um, sorry, I just pulled my t-shirt under my boob. But you know what? I'm not mad at these at all. They do feel nice and tight to my body, which I really do like. And I'm kind of thinking that I would, you know, you'd probably cover them up with a top of some sort. And you know what? They look really, really nice on the legs. So do you know what? I'm not mad at these at all. I'm really, really not. For 20 quid, or around 20 quid. That's really good. I'm quite surprised that I fit them. The last item has Mickey Mouse as well. <laughs> Make me so happy. This is a sweatshirt. Oh. I remember this now. Plain and simple sweatshirt. There isn't much to tell you. It is on the crop side, but we'll see how long it is, whether or not I would say I can do a French tuck with it. Um, do we have drop shoulders? I would say we'll probably have some kind of drop shoulder situation going on. But other than that, just a plain sweatshirt with a lovely Mickey Mouse on it. I got this one in size 3XL and it was $22.99. I had actually forgotten about the neckline there is on this jumper. It's very closed and I was very worried about it uh, when I ordered. But I thought, you know what, I can always return it. But now that I have it on... I really don't mind it. Now, I, I know that because I have such a big chest, a V-neck is always nicer on me because it opens up my face and gives me a little bit more space. Um, but I'm not 
not mad at this. I quite like this. Do you know what? It's such a lovely and soft sweatshirt. I know it has a drop shoulder and it's probably not the most flattering on my body, but I really like this. And it's Mickey Mouse. It's Mickey Mouse. Not mad at it at all. I think it's quite cute. Now, I better show you the length. Um, it hits me just on my belly. Again, I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm not the tallest person in the world. But you know what? This is like a perfect snuggly jumper. And this one is like perfect for school runs as well, when we ever get back to school runs. Um, do you know what? This is, this is the kind of jumper you throw on and you still look put together, even though you're dressed in your loungewear. So... Yeah, this one is definitely a keeper. And I'm not even bothered getting changed. That is it. We have made it to the end of another haul. It has been very interesting to try in H&M, um, especially because it's been years since I tried them. I was really surprised. I am really surprised about me being able to fit all the items. Both trousers, amazingly enough, fit really well. They have a great fit, as does the sweatshirt. The shirt is the only thing that I'm not really that keen on. And that's just my personal aesthetic. That has nothing to do with the item itself. As I said, the sizes was the one that worried me big time because of my experience many years ago. So I'm delighted to see that the sizes that I picked is actually fitting. So I'm going to try the return policy now and see how that works out. And if I have anything to report on the return policy, um, I will leave it in the description box when it's done and dusted. But listen, that is it for today. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here with me. And especially if you made it to the end, sat through the ads for me, thank you so much. Because that is how you are helping my little channel grow. With all that said and done, check the description box, smash the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,